Tomorrow, President Obama unveils his proposals to fight gun violence in the wake of the Sandy Hook shootings. It was just more than a month ago that a gunman killed 20 children and six adults in Newtown, Connecticut. And since then, the debate over gun control has intensified. Six News reporter Mona Nyer talked to those in the gun business to get a sense of how they are feeling tonight. Tuesday night at Frontier Firearms, a shooting range in Kingston, Tennessee. This, the evening before the president reveals a comprehensive proposal to crack down on firearms. Gun enthusiasts here certainly have a lot of tension to release over the issue. They're angry that we have a man in the White House and we have a group of people in this country who have decided once and for all that they're sick and tired of the Constitution of the United States of America. The White House confirmed today that the president, among other things, will push for a ban on assault weapons when he unveils his gun violence package tomorrow. This is an AR-15. This is, again, similar to the Sandy Hook incident. At Westside Pond in Knoxville, they've seen a run on assault weapons like this one. But we actually ran out within two days. Prices of guns have spiked. Still, an entire case that held handguns is now empty. But that's probably where the biggest fear is is what they might pass on the handgun. Fear and panic that leads up to the president's announcement tomorrow. Diehard gun owners resistant because they believe gun violence is not about the weapon. It's about the person holding it. They're trying to tell us that this firearm is imminently more dangerous than this firearm. And that just isn't the case. This firearm shoots a 357 Magnum bullet, which is deadly to anyone that's hit with. This one shoots a 22 bullet. Yet this one is going to be on the scary gun list and will be banned. But this one won't. So we don't understand the logic of that. Mona Nyer, 6 News. Now the president is expected to address the nation on gun control tomorrow at 11.45 in the morning. 6 News will bring you an ABC News special report on that speech.